And everybody's capacity is different. So every single uh, galactic channeler or experiencer is going to have a different capacity. So a lot of people will talk about 5D, like I'm in 5D or, you know, that kind of sentiment. And the, the, the amount of that level of consciousness that has to be integrated into your being, that higher um, archetypal level of consciousness to genuinely perceive information is very high. So what this consciousness does, if, if, if it can be achieved, and how that consciousness is achieved is actually through love. It is through love in the body and through the heart. There's no other way to achieve that level of consciousness. It's only through love um, and various different practices that um, develop that love in the body. And what that does is it allows you to carry a higher and higher and higher frequency. And then, so it's like that love energy, that higher 5D energy becomes an alchemical force that allows you to pull in higher information. So you're not in 5D, you're in 3D, but you're able to pull into your being high amounts of that information in an integrated way so that you do a kind of psychic alchemy to really see beyond this world. And so the, the, the 5D energy is an alchemical, it, it's an alchemical force that we use to render ourselves certain visions and develop certain capacities. It's not that you're in 5D forever or anything like that. It is just a force that's used to create an alchemical process and a psychic alchemical process. And everybody has a different capacity. In Isis Rising, we discussed the, the building up the psychic capacity. Well, that is the, 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 the more capacity that you have, the farther removed you can become from the earth and go deeper into timelines that seem like they are farther removed. Um, and everybody has a different capacity to build up this energy within them, okay? And the, this capacity, I think another important thing to say about it is that it's really something that we build up lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. So our intuitive abilities are not fundamentally built just in this life. You know, it's not just like we're born with nothing and then we have whatever we develop in this life we develop. We bring our capacity with us from past lives and we carry the, the cosmic initiations that we go through life after life after life and we build it up over time. And so this capacity to carry this higher energy, in a lot of ways, it is sort of determined by the past lives that you've lived. And you will go through the initiations energetically again in this life, the cosmos will, will bring you through those initiations as you go through all of your transits and you go through your awakening over time, you'll, you will be reinitiated into your next level and then you can build on that level. So for, for your psychic capacity, although you can develop it significantly in this life, a great deal of it is determined by past lives that you've lived also your psychic reach, your psychic access, the kind of beings that you can connect to, um, that is also determined significantly by past lives as well. Capacity. Every human being is a psychic capacitor. So every single human being has a degree of psychic energy, of higher vibrational energy that they can sustain in their being, okay? So how much spiritual energy can you as an individual anchor in your being without panicking or running away or becoming irritated or distracted. Okay, focus is very important. And not only how much higher energy 
can you carry? So this is a very high frequency. How much of that can you carry? And how stable can you make it? So a lot of people, when they start doing spiritual things, they start having visions, they start to become more psychic. A lot of the time, that energy stays up here, okay? And it never becomes really embodied. They are, the, the, the individuals working will almost be up out of their body way more than they need to. It's not as integrated into their physical form. It doesn't come all the way down into all the densities of their being. It can't come into the lower densities of their being. It can't come down into the lower chakra system. In order for these really high vibrational energies, cosmic energies, to really come into our being, to really achieve that embodiment, we really have to be fearless. We really can't have fear in our being. We can't really have a lot of negative ego because the, the moment that we start bringing that higher energy within, to, within our being, what happens is it is directly pushes out incoherence. It directly pushes out fear and pain and trauma. And that's why we push it away. We're like, no, oh my gosh, no. You know, I thought I could just wear my psychic abilities like an accessory. I didn't realize I had to change and face all of this childhood stuff or past life stuff. And I didn't realize I had to maybe let go of things in my life that don't serve me. And that's why a lot of people don't develop is they believe that becoming psychic is, and in becoming embodied, embodying your higher self into your physical form, they believe that that is something that they can do on the side and that it doesn't affect their entire being, but it does. Anybody who, you know, is part of my, um, you know, my little community that we have, we talk about this all the time. Um, and it's all about bringing those higher vibrational frequencies and creating that clear line of connection where you're not panicking, you're not shaking, you're not wanting to throw it away, where you're bringing it in. And that ups your capacity, that makes you a higher capacitor, but you can only carry it to the degree that you are healed. So every time you try to increase your capacity, you are faced with an initiation within yourself. And this is the real source of initiation in the mysteries. It really began here because in the higher densities, we realized that what really stopped us from our growth was all this pain and it would fracture us. And so we realized that we, we would become initiated back into ourself when we faced a fear, when we overcame something. So we are reinitiated back into our embodiment. And it's a very natural process. And that means embodiment is having a higher capacity. It means that as you um, come back to yourself, you don't resist it, you don't run from it, you don't allow even the sensations in your physical body to push you away from that process. You face it and that increases your capacity. And that means that you can carry higher energies for several cycles. So one thing that you may not know is that we are always cycling. We're always going through these oscillations in our spirit. It is not still, you know, in, in, from a material lens, we see it as like a congealed like soul or like an egg, but it's actually cycling. And we're actually going through different cycles and different densities. And so we have to go through, within our more material side, we have to go through a certain number of cycles. Perhaps look at it this way. You have to go through a certain amount of cycles in every chakra. We'll just look at it that way. Without losing it. Without losing your focus. Without allowing your ego to take over without being distracted, you have to hold it for a certain amount of cycles. 
okay? And as you get into the denser levels, those cycles are a lot slower, which is where we see a lot of the Eastern traditions of monks, um, you know, really saturate, spending that time, just building that foundation of just holding very specific energies for very long cycles of time. Well, that 